What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take a React app, deploy it, and host it on the internet for free. So you can link your friends, your React app, and you can link your portfolio. You can make a portfolio with React and host it. But on top of that, I'm gonna show you how to do it with continuous integration. And what I mean by that is, when you make a change to your code and you push that up to GitHub or Bitbucket or wherever, in this case, it's gonna be GitHub. GitHub is connected to the hosting site and then your hosting site updates. So you can just make changes and make changes and then push it to your GitHub and then it changes online. So that's continuous integration. I'm gonna show you how to do that in under 10 minutes. It's a pretty cool little trick. So I hope this is helpful for you guys. If it is, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate that. We have a Discord link for that it's in the description if you wanna to talk to me or ask me any questions or anything like that. You can shoot me an email if you want. Shout out to all the patrons that support the channel. I do this for you guys. I do this to help everyone get jobs, up your knowledge. Just try to keep things as simple as possible. I get a lot of questions about React specifically, make React apps. So eh, this is kind of making a React app, but this is hosting. It's something more useful for you. You guys can figure out how to make a React app. Everyone is different. So that being said, I appreciate you, each and every one of you. Hope you guys are gonna have an awesome weekend and I'll see you in the next video. All right, so welcome back to Coding with Thor. This is the Asgard. There's a few prerequisites we need to be able to do this. I'm gonna be using Git, the terminal, Node, NPM, and Yarn. My code editor is going to be Visual Studio Code. So if you don't know what any of those things are, let me tell you real quick. And if you do, you can skip this part of the video. So we have Git for version control. And then we have Git Bash, which is this window up here, my terminal. And we have Node. If you install Node, you get NPM. And then we have Yarn, which I need to use because I'm on Windows. You might not need this. And Visual Studio IDE, we have here, I'm using Visual Studio Code not IDE. All right, so I'm gonna close these out. Let's go ahead and get started. The process is not too hard. I assume that you can figure out how to set up your GitHub, but I will show you how to make a new repository and push code to it for this specific example. If you wanna learn how to set up your email for GitHub, just do how to set up email. It just takes two minutes. All right, so we gotta to go to create React app and download that as a zip. So here we are, right here. We have create React app right here by Facebook and let's download as a zip. Open that up. When you download the zip, it'll look like this and it'll come with create react master in here. Let's drag that over to the desktop. All right, then we need to come over to Netlify. So it's just app.netlify.com. Go ahead and sign in with GitHub or email, whatever you want. I'm gonna choose GitHub. So it's gonna ask you to authenticate and allow GitHub to connect and all that stuff. And then you'll get to this right here. All right, so now let's go ahead and open our create react app that we downloaded here. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna open it with code. That's a little perk you get with Visual Studio. It's gonna open this pre-built create React app boilerplate. I'm gonna click right here, drag this up. We have a terminal. Whenever you download one of these, you have to install everything, all the modules that it needs to be able to run as React. So to do that, I'm gonna do yarn install. I have to use yarn, you can use npm install, but I have to use yarn because I'm on Windows, so that's why I showed you yarn. Yarn install. Wait a second for this to do its thing. You need to go and download Yarn if you don't have it in your own Windows, and you need to go download Node, and you need to go download, yeah, that's it. Node comes with NPM. Great, so now we've installed all the packages that are required for React. Now we have to build it, so we have to make a production build. In order to do that, we type Yarn build, or you can type NPM run build. I do that, but it doesn't work for me, so I have to use Yarn again. Wait for this to create a production build. Right here you can see creating an optimized production build. So next, after that, we have to do npm install netlify cli-g. So I can use npm here, or I can use yarn, but I'll use npm because it's already saved. Hit enter here, it's gonna download the netlify package. All right, so now we can do netlify deploy. We have access to the netlify command because we just downloaded the package, so netlify deploy. We're gonna create and configure a new site. I'm gonna leave it blank, so it'll just generate something random. I'm gonna pick my username. All right, so right here, we had to build a production build. I know it's, it's a little bit redundant, but you do dot slash build, or otherwise this folder right here is what we have to point it to because that's the production. That's what we have to deploy to get it to actually run on the internet. So dot slash build, Let's wait for that. All right, so we can see our draft. All right, learn React right there. So we're ready to deploy to production. So it gives us a second command. You, I mean, it's already hosted, but just for the sake of this video, we'll do dash dash prod. Again, we'll do dot slash build. And so now we'll go to this. All right, so now this is the production build. We are officially, we are officially having our app hosted. So 
We were here first, there was nothing here. If I refresh this page, you'll now see this site hosted. If I click on this, you can see it's a manual deploy. So if I wanna make a change right now, I have to manually rebuild and manually deploy. Let me show you what I mean by that. So if I come in here to packages, React scripts, template, source, app.js, minimize this a little bit. We got learn React and right now, this is that learn React. So if I change this to test and I control S to save this, I have to rebuild this, yarn build. It's gonna rebuild another production. We don't really wanna have to do this every time. And we come back in here and then we do Netlify deploy dot slash build again. Let's wait a second. If I refresh this, now we can see it's changed to test. But we wanna do it continuous integration. So we wanna connect this to GitHub and every time we make a change to this and we push it to GitHub, GitHub tells Netlify to push our changes so we don't have to manually do this every single time. So let me show you how to do that. Let's come over here to GitHub, click new repository. Netlify test, create repository. All right, so this is just a little bit of GitHub setup. This is real simple. In order to do that, we have to do git init. Keep in mind, we are currently in the folder, git init. Right, so we have git init. And now we need to come back here. We need to set our remote origin. Paste that in there. Enter. And now we have to add all of the files, git add dot. So now that's done. Now we have to do a commit. So git commit dash m for message. Leave a little message, initial commit. This is industry standard. Okay, so it has committed everything. It's like a little checkpoint if you don't know what that is in Git. And so we'll right click, we'll copy this next one here, git push origin master. And we'll come back and paste this here. So this is gonna allow us to push to GitHub. Click like that. Now, if you've done this the first time, it will pop up with a little window depending on what platform you're on and it'll say, please enter your username and password for GitHub. I've already done that. So it already has everything saved for me. It didn't pop that up, you didn't see that. Now, if I refresh this page here, we can see that my React app is now here 39 seconds ago. This is when I pushed it. So let's change this to LOL, continuous. Oh, let's just do integration. Why can't I spell? Spelling is hard. So we'll change it to that. We'll save this and we can see in our GitHub, if I do git status, we have modified this file right here. Let's go ahead and git add dot. So we do git status again, we can see that it's now green and that this is queued up to be committed and then pushed. But first, we have to come back here to our Netlify and tell our Netlify not to be manual anymore to do that, we come to Site Settings, come down to Build and Deploy, click Link Site to Git, GitHub, it's gonna pop up with this little thing. I'm already authorized, so it just opened and says authorized, but you're gonna have to click, you know, type in your details and click authorize. No big deal there. And I called this repo Netlify Test, so I'll come over here, hit Netlify, search, there's Netlify Test. I only have one branch, so it's master. And then we'll do build command is npm run build. Now I know I used yarn build, but this is on their server, so you have to use npm run build. And the publish directory again is dot slash build. So I'll click deploy site. So it says now it says deploys from GitHub here. It's gonna take a second. It's actually not gonna change. It's still gonna say test, you can see. Last published at 424. So I don't, I haven't actually pushed anything. Let's come back over here. Let's push from GitHub. So we have to git commit where we left off. Connected, Netlify, great. We have to push, git push. And we changed it to say LOL, continuous integrate. Come back. This should update in just a second. It says 424 and we updated it, it's now 429. This should update in just a second and say last update. Oh, there goes the picture. Picture change, this says 429. This means that it's in progress of deploying. So if I go here right now, it's not gonna be finished yet. It still says test. You have to wait for this to complete. All right. So now it says LOL, CI, just what we have here. To prove this is working, again, we'll do confirmed working, and then we'll do git add dot, git commit, dash M, Confirmed working. 
Oh, I didn't save this file. Set that little dot up there. Run that. We run that command again. Confirmed working, and then get push. All right, so we pushed it. Now this should update here in just a second. Again, it says last published. That'll change in a second. And we can see that it is now confirmed working. If I refresh this page, last published at 4:32, and you can see a little screenshot there. So now every single time. I make a modification to this GitHub, it gets pushed to Netlify, Netlify deploys this to this app where I can link my friends or whatever, my portfolio. That's how you do it, guys. I hope this was helpful. Hope it was simple enough. If you're having issues with the GitHub exactly, you can search through my previous videos. I have a course on GitHub. Link for that is in the description below. It's learn GitHub and advance Git flow in 10 minutes. It's on my site. So if you are interested in getting pro at GitHub, you can go check that out if you want. I guess that's it guys. So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Anyways guys, hope this helps. Enjoy the portfolios. See you in the next one.